Hey YouTube, it's Johnny again. Um, right, uh, let's go to the post office um, today. And um, so I missed the post. And uh, I got this. And this is a BCLT from Mark G with a C. Thank you. And uh, it's exactly what I've always wanted a box. <laughs> right. Um, wow. Uh, look at this. Woo! This is pretty cool. Oh my god. You only. It only cost three pounds to get to Guernsey. If I sent a box out like that, it would be about 10 quid, 12 pounds, something like that. And it's just extortionate prices because um, we have to pay Guernsey Post as well as Royal Mail. Uh, so two lots of post uh, post prices on one, uh, one thing. Just extortionate, mate. Seriously, Mark, I can send one vinyl record and that's about six pound, about six quid for one record. So, uh, right, let's get this open. Um, where shall I start? I won't show my address. Oops, that is not my address anyway. Uh, oops, I don't know whose address that is. Yeah, I didn't realise I had that on show, sorry. Right, uh, blah, blah. where are we? He's wrapped this up very well. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know where this, ah, oh, there it is. Slice in first without um, cutting my hand or breaking something in the box. I've sliced my leg before doing a um, box opening on YouTube. And uh, yeah, slice the uh, a bit down on my leg down here. I've, I had the scissors like that, and I sliced them. <laughs> oh my god! Luckily, I didn't. I'm still here, so um, right. Do you know what? Right, this is actually the same box I sent Mark. It's got my details on it. Underneath, that's my writing on the original box. Uh, I see he's doing his bit of recycling there. So, I thought I recognised it when I um, picked it up. Right, so I don't know. Open this way up, okay. Right, that's good. Right, first thing. Wow, yes, I've always wanted a divider. <laughs> right. Oh my God. Here we go. I remember you saying in a previous video that you wanted some wings in your collection. I hope you don't already have this. I don't think I do, to be quite honest. Wow. Thank you, mate. I didn't. <laughs> I think there's more than just one set of wings in here. Right. So, we've got Wings Greatest Hits. And this is the um, 1993 edition of the CD. Uh, yes, I do like Wings. Um, Junior's Farm was a song that got me... It was a B-side song to... Um, what's the name of the... A B-side to the song... Do you know what I can't remember? Uncle Albert, I think. I think it was that. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But my little boy went, well, he's a big boy now. He's, <laughs> he's um, getting close to that six foot. Um, but when he was a little boy, he used to sit and put um, a Paul McCartney record on a seven inch and it had Junior's Farm on the other side. And he used to dance around to the Junior's Farm. And yeah. So then I started getting into... Um, Wings and Paul McCartney stuff because I, I couldn't stand it when I was younger. Um, and obviously, I got into the Beatles as well, another band that I was very late to the party. Uh, so, yeah, this is um, there it is there. And I definitely have not got this mark. I've got this on record on vinyl, but I 
definitely deliver it on CD. So thank you very much for that. That's awesome. Uh, another CD. Oh no, he's, got, he's been writing the stuff on here. Huh? What's this? Oh, he's, wow, there's something in here. It's a cassette. Oh, oh wow, man, look. Wow. Yes, have you ever needed someone so bad? Cassette single. That's just killer. Thank you. Wow. Um, I I bought the Let's Get Rocked on cassette when that came out. And then a bit later on, I got the box set with the CD. Um, and you had to collect the other CD singles at the time. But the very first one I got was the um, Let's Get Rocked cassette. Um, and... Same with the album. I got the album on cassette, I think, as well. Um, well, I think I did. So long ago. I can't believe how old this is now. I'm just like, well, this is from 1992. And, geez, where's the time gone? Um, but, yeah, look at this. I was, it's got from the inside on the other side. 1992. Bludgeon Rafola clear cassettes. I always liked the clear cassettes. They were very cool. And um, I said, to, I said in one of my Def Leppard videos that I really was trying to concentrate on getting all the little like cassette singles and the CD singles. I had most of the CD singles anyway, uh, but just trying to get every single uh, thing that they did. It's very difficult. So yeah, there you go. There's the inlay card. Just there. And um, yeah, anybody else has got any of these sort of things, uh, Def Leppard stuff they don't want, uh, let me know. Um, give you a shout out on your video. Um, but yeah, oh, mega, brilliant, thank you. Um, that's that one. This one here, I do have on record, this CD, sorry, I was going to say. I've got this CD, uh, I've got this um, this CD on record uh, a couple of times. Probably about that, or I used to have it about that or that. Um, I've got a blue vinyl, which is the original blue vinyl. And I've got the original records. Um, and that is um, by this band. And I don't have this CD, so thank you, Mark. I've only got a few CDs from the 90s, which are very collectible now, and early 2000s. Um, it's by the band Saxon, Wheels of Steel, and uh, yeah, I like Seven or Strangers, Seven or Seven Strangers in the Night, and Wheels of Steel. That's a good song. But yeah, it's a band that um, I've thought, right, I'm going to get their stuff on CD. And um, probably I'm trying to, I'm going to get rid of the records because I don't ever play them. So, so yeah, but I really want the stuff on CD because it's easier to look after. And um, yeah, let's, let's hustle. Um, oh my God, yes. Oh, awesome. Don't know if you have this already, he's put. But being a huge fan of heart that you are. I thought it better in your collection than mine. Oh, that's awesome, man. Um, let's have a look. Do you know what? I can't remember if I've got this. This is how bad I am for remembering things lately. And, um, wow. This is uh, the 12 inch of These Dreams. Look at that. It's killer. It's got If Looks Could Kill, Shell Shock from 19. This, uh, this was done in 86, but um, yeah, the uh, songs are off the 85 album. And um, yeah, just amazing. Love that heart stuff. I'm going to open it up and have a look. I thought I just had a paper cut then, but it's, uh, it's all the parcel tape just caught one of my hairs on my hand and yanked it off. Right. So yeah, here's the record. There it is there. Not the most amazing um, label. Uh, Capital One, the uh, colours, you know, they're rainbowish, but they're not, um, it's not a, a label that sort of pops out of you. But no, that's very cool. 
I know I've got that on seven inch. I'm sure, positive I've got that on seven inch. And, oh, I don't know if you have it on CD, but I thought you might like it on vinyl too. Also, I know you have it on CD. Yes, this is um, this is a, a great um, record. This is um, I did I was late late getting this as well um, on CD. Um, I think I only got it last year. Oh, and I knew Mark had this in his collection. And this is um, the awesome Black Label Society, and this is Grimmest Hits. And um, these, uh, I've listened to some of this, but not as much as I um, listen to the other stuff, to be quite honest. But I'm, this is, this is cool. Cool as, because I really, really wanted more Black Label Society stuff. And um, this is, this being the newer stuff, isn't it? And 2018, let's have a look at this. And there we go. What's inside there? I haven't even seen it yet. Oh, cool. Lyrics are in there. That's cool. That's good to see. And it's a double vinyl, I believe. And there's the label. Black vinyl, I think. Actually, no. It looks black, but they want to hold it up to the light. There's a slight tinge. I don't know if Mark noticed that. It looks, it's got like a green tinge to it. Can you see that? But in my, in my lounge, can you see that? It doesn't show up like that. It looks black, and then when I put it into the uh, to my camera, it goes green. Holy cow, that's amazing! Wow, it does honestly. It, it, it's from where I'm sitting looking at it like that. It just looks like it got a slight little tinge to it, like extremely dark green in with black. But when you hold it up to that, that is awesome, man. That is amazing. Wow. Hopefully that come out on my camera. Um, oh, sorry, video. Um, but that's awesome. That is amazing. Thank you very much, Mark. This is just killer. That is just awesome, man. Thank you very much. Um, that is just totally brilliant. So um, thank you again, Mark. And uh, if you're not subscribed to Mark's channel, go and, um, go to his channel. I'll put a link in this description. And you can go and check out his stuff. He's into a lot heavier stuff than me. Um, things that I, I I I can't even follow the lyrics. <laughs> um, yeah, more into his death metal and stuff like that. So, yeah, that is that is fantastic, man. Seriously, and. Um, Yes. Don't you worry, I haven't forgotten about you, mate. So, yeah. I'll see you later. Um, everybody else out there, as well as Mark, uh, keep listening to whatever it is you listen to. Enjoy, and um, see you later. Cheers.